Lynette Nix is a Texas girl. She grew up in West Texas and raised a family in the flat cotton country surrounding La Mesa. It's near Lubbock. She summers in New York City. This is her studio. You see, Pat Nix is an artist. Her paintings have hung in the National Gallery and sell well enough to provide her a comfortable living. But her main passion is invested into things she calls assemblages and boxes. First, the boxes. I don't really know what it means yet. Some people have given it sociological meanings, like these are people in a tenement and these are things that are happening. But I usually don't have any kind of a meaning like that in mind when I do them. Pat does them with all kinds of odd material. Here she has applied various oil colors to an old billiard ball case, which has been lined here and there with pictures from newspapers and magazines. She is currently stocking the shelves with some rather unusual stuff. This little arm, I'm not, I haven't decided where it will go. Pat Nix is no Grandma Moses. Her boxes are populated with Cupid doll heads, prisms and lenses, parts of this and parts of that. And her wonderfully textured assemblages are no less than sculptures made from things that look a bit used, and pardon the expression, a bit junky. It's as if the stuff that inspires Pat Nix to create comes from flea markets. And that's exactly where she finds it. From New York sidewalks to Texas junkyards, Pat Nix sees texture, color, composition, and beauty where most of us do not. Excuse me, how much is the doll in the case? I don't know, I've been collecting it for all my life. Even long before I ever knew that I was going to make boxes with it. Maybe that's how the boxes happened because I had to figure out something to do with it. And like I can go down this line and, and 20 lines like this and a few pieces will speak to me and I won't know why but they will obviously be something that I can use that will set off a chain association of memories from my childhood or something and it will gain meaning through that. Well, I very much lose track of time, and I have a real compulsion to work. Pat sold the second painting she ever attempted. She was 17. There was a point when I very much had to narrow the things that I did. I knew that my family had to be taken care of, but anything other than that that I could eliminate, I did. Pat's husband is in agribusiness. Her only daughter recently graduated from Harvard Law School. One son studies law in Oklahoma, the other is still young. Work is very much a part of Pat Nix's life. And sometimes I feel the effect of it in a detrimental way. But it was the only way that I could actually learn what I needed to learn and accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. Every discarded piece of flotsam placed into a Pat Nix work comes from American culture. Stuff we're all familiar with. Stuff from Pat Nix's experience. And although once dead and unused, it takes on new life in her imagination and in our line of sight. 